Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Insightful, coming at you with a, another UI video. This has been requested by quite a few viewers in the stream and subs over on YouTube. So here I am delivering what you've been asking for. Now this video is probably going to be shorter than my previous iterations of this video purely because I'm just going to show you how to get the look and feel of the game that I use. Now all the WeCora codes, all the add-on codes, profiles will be available in Discord. If you are subbed to my Twitch then you will get an installation pack uh, which is available to subs only as I've previously said but otherwise if you follow this video you should be able to get a UI that looks very similar if not identical to mine. Enjoy. So to start with guys, let's talk about the add-ons that are important in making the UI look like this. I will also be covering my arena UI as well and the settings for that. But first of all, let's just talk about the general game UI outside of PVP and what I use to make things look the way they do. So the important add-ons that you are going to need to begin with are enhanced raid frames. The profile for this is in the Discord. Frame color. I'm going to show you the settings for this add-on. Um, you're going to need Gladius EX. You're going to need Omni CC and Omni CD. You might as well get these now. You're going to need SUI. You're going to need Sexy Map. You're going to need um, tidy plates, that's optional. I'm actually not using that. Uh, the next one is Weak Auras, Uber UI. And that is it. So you need six or seven uh, add ons immediately before you do anything else. Um, and other ones that are also worth a mention, but not super important as of right now. Better Bliss Plates, Classic Numbers, and APM by Vino. So get those downloaded, guys. Get those installed, and I'll see you at the next part. So, guys, I think the first thing that we need to do is you need to go into edit mode. You need to jump in the Discord get the import code, drop down in layout and import this layout and you will get everything spaced out how I have set it. So that's number one. So download the add-ons, set up the profile and make sure that it looks like mine. Or if you want to drag and drop like mine, that's fair enough. But the import code is there to save you a lot of the legwork. So as with previous videos, I'm going to go through the list alphabetically. I think this is the easiest way so people can pause and start the video. There will be timestamps as well, and I will have titles for where those timestamps are indicating what add-on. So first of all, we're going to look at APM by Vino. This add-on simply tracks the amount of actions per minute which I do in combat or in arena and I've simply placed this. You can just left click and drag and drop this wherever you feel is nice. I drag it over here because this is where all my combat information is with details as well which I didn't tell you to download but you can obviously download that to get this um, bar as it is. And that's it for the APM add-on. So the next add-on that I'm going to show you is Better Bliss Plates. So this add-on is a really good quality of life add-on and it allows you to customize all of your name plates. Now I'm not going to show you everything on how mine look. I just want to show you guys the settings and if you want the same as what I have got or what you've seen in my previous videos, then here we are. So just to take you through all the settings um, or stop you going through all the settings, there is an import code which I have placed in the Discord for those that want my exact settings. Simply put the code in here and click import. You will have all the settings that I have. So you don't need to worry about going through each of the individual settings. So I'm saving a lot of time here. 
um, with you guys. And then you can tweak it, you can tailor it, but there's a lot with this add-on and there's a lot of settings that I've already set up. So I think it's probably just good to use my profile or you can use other profiles of other players too. So guys, the next add-on that you should be getting is classic numbers. You can also install big debuffs as well, but that is completely optional. I just keep the default settings for that. However, Better Bliss Plates does have features that are similar to big debuffs. Classic numbers is basically the combat text that comes above the enemy's head whenever you're doing any damage or any crits like this. So you can see there, that's what the text will go like. Now my settings for classic numbers are as follows. Enable, so I'm just gonna scroll down so you can see. And that is literally all I have. So copy these settings, you'll get exactly the same as me. So the next add-on that I'm going to show you is details. So I have details down here in this corner. Literally, I use the default version uh, from what I remember. And I think I've customized some of the colors in, in details. Um, but yeah, you can you can mess around. You can change the the background color. You can make it completely black like that. You can you can mess around and change it to too much skin. But I've pretty much just left it as the class default because that's how I like it. But yeah, install details and just drag and put it in the corner if you want it to be the same as mine. It's that simple. So on to the next add-on, which is enhanced raid frames. Oh, I'm going to show you. So basically this add-on, if I just create a group to show you in PVP, really doesn't matter. I'm probably going to get people apply though. Um, so if I go to pre-made and just start a group, just start a group, put that as anything. So enhanced basically has specific parts where it adds my my hots and this is just so I can track them all it's really nice um, and I find it really really helpful now again to make this simple for you guys I've added the actual import code so you can go again and you can copy this code which is on the discord and you can import it and you will have exactly the same setup as I have it's that simple so the next add-on that I recommend you get is Fatal Arena Frames. This just simply hides the enemy arena frames in Arena, the default ones by Blizzard. So I would download that and it gets rid of them. So the next add-on is Frame Sort. And this basically sorts it so every time you're in a raid or you're in a group your icon will always be at the top and i've just kept it as default i've not changed anything with that so the next add-on that i want to show you is frame calls so you can type slash fc and this will come up now once again um i will Provi oh no, I won't. Pro I will provide you with my profile for this, so you can just copy the code that I've put in Discord, and you can put this in this text box here and click accept, and you will have all the same settings as I have. And what this does is basically turns all the frames dark. So guys, the next add-on that I'm going to show you is Omni CD. This basically. If you've seen my PvP videos, you will know that uh, I track all the cooldowns of my party members. Now, this is the add-on that does this. Once again, I'm going to share the export code in. So all you need to do is import it here and click decode and you will have the same profile set up as me. So the next add-on I'll show you is sexy map so this add-on very very simple but it basically transforms your map so i use the i believe it's square um again you can have the same um you can have the same profile uh, on all your characters so that's always really nice but there's all these all these different things that you can put on it so you can have like um 
different textures, different, so you can able, change the texture of the map, you can add like a little border in, um, change a different type of texture, there are, there are an awful lot of um, different things that you can do with it, so yeah, you can, you can kind of experiment with this, um, see, see what you like and uh, yeah, give it a go, but mine, as I've said, is just defaultly set to the faded square so yeah try that give it a go and see what you think and your map will look something like this so perhaps one of the most important add-ons with my kind of whole add-on or my whole user interface is sui so just to uh give you a quick overview of this so first of all you can import and export profiles in this which is really annoying because um, it's been like this for a long time now, but my settings are this. So you can just pause it on each frame and copy off these settings. And make sure to click save once you are done and then you will have the same settings as me. And this, I use the SUI font globally throughout all of my add-ons. So you want to make sure when you're creating this user interface that you set the UI text or for any add-on, the font to SUI and the option should appear in all of the different add-ons that you use. Okay, so getting towards the end of the list, guys, the next add-on that I'm going to show you is Uber UI. This is a really simple add-on, but it's incredibly powerful. It gives my frames this kind of curved look. So if you go to Uber UI and all you want to do, set the darkness level to um, have it on zero. Um, so you can see there, see the slides. And then I just have everything set to minimalist and I use these options. Really simple. And you can also hide your uh, hotkeys as well. Um, I know most of mine, so I actually do like it like that. And that's it. But yeah, give it a go, guys. And you can also set the health bar color as well. But there are many of the other add-ons that I have, so be careful with doing this. But yeah, guys, that's Uber UI. So now on to the two biggest add-ons that I've kind of got, and that is Weak Aura. So you can type slash WA once you've installed Weak Aura. So now you can see all these things on my screen. Some of them are PVP. Some of them are specific to um, my character and are just there all the time. So the one that you may, may be wondering is these spells here. Uh, you can simply create a new bar if you're using bartender but this is a weak aura and you can actually get access to this uh if you're a sub on um on my twitch you'll get access to the channel where i share this weak aura that i actually designed and made um it tracks your life blooms as a druid as well on your raid frames and it puts a little bar there which you can change the size but if you want the custom code you do have to be a sub i have to keep some things for them right um but yeah otherwise guys all of the weak auras that i have are named here um, and I will put all of the codes in Discord for the ones that I have. So you can just copy, go to import, and then you can import all of the weak auras. So last but not least, guys, it is time for the Gladius EX. Now, many people have asked me how I made my arena frames to track the enemies so what i'm going to do is show you all the settings of everything um and just give you a kind of three to four minute because i don't want to make this video any bigger so copy these settings and you're gonna end up with the exact same enemy arena frames as what i have so general you can see we have their sui set we have a font outline um and we're using the clean bar texture so and then what you want to do is you want to actually go to party and you want to turn turn off um i think it's in general actually or turn off in party 
uh, you want to turn off the party arena frames. Now, I think I've actually got that turned off. So you want to turn off the party side, which is on the left side. So and um, when you've done that, all of these will be shaded out. So the ones that are shaded out are actually inactive. So then we can go to general and you can copy all of these. So just copy all of these settings as I go down. So you disable this. So you can tick there, untick, enable module. Untick announcements, untick aura, cast bar. I'm using these. So again, texture's clean. Got these height. Okay, that anchor. So you can see all them. Class icon, so shows the spec. The side view. Okay, so just going to show you that. Untick clicks. Um, you want the cooldowns enabled. This is really important. Uh, so you can copy all of these settings here and then for group two as well i'm not sure what the group one and group two are but i they're the settings i have and then you want to go through this section in cooldowns and you want to take your time and you want to select all the different uh spells it does kind of track a lot of them by default but it doesn't necessarily track among serenity it doesn't track a d hate um, DH is blur or a DK's uh, unbreakable assault or um, unholy assault or whatever it's called so you do need to go through that and take your time getting to know that but those are the settings to make it look how I have it now DR tracker so again I think everything's pretty much default on this but this is what I'm using okay health bar again this is what I'm using it's pretty much default but that's both tabs highlight disable the module interrupts disable the module pets disable the module power bar again set that to clean uh, default color i just leave it as skill history disable text tags i enable that so it's basically just the person's name um as you can see so depending on the location shows uh the information so i just literally have the player's name um, and then target should be a disabled module as well. And like I said, um, the party is on the left side, So, you, but your raid frames are going to show this anyway. So yeah, you just want to disable that. And unfortunately, I don't think there is any way I can uh, provide my profile. So just go for the settings, guys. And when you've done, you can click test and you will have something that looks like that so there's my settings now last but not least let me show you my interface settings just so you guys can see so guys we're coming towards the end of the video let me show you my interface settings just so you can see uh what i'm using so you can just copy all of these uh i don't actually want not to track that uh, names minions uh, so you can see what I'm tracking, what I'm displaying, and then raid frames. You want that? Um, you you want to be using raid frames, and I just have all them ticked, and that is literally it. And then combat. So to display the combat text, you can tick that, tick these two, and then you should have the combat text. But everything else, really, really simple. And then action bars are just that. So yeah, guys, that is my UI. I've tried to keep this video really short compared to some other ones because I wanted to get it out fairly quickly, but also have all the information included. Once again, just to remind people, there is a lot of information on the Discord and a lot of this UI is really fast to set up because you can use profiles. But if you do have any questions, please do leave a question in the comments or head over to Discord. There is an add-on question section. I'm more than happy to help you solve the problems or head over to Twitter which where I stream every day at UK time, 8.30 p.m., which is an hour behind the rest of Western Europe. Anyway, guys, in the meantime, if you've enjoyed this video, drop me a sub, turn on notifications, and be kind, be peaceful, and remember, most of all, you are appreciated. Bye.